Your Excellency, the former governor of Edo State, the former national chairman of All Progressive Congress, former president of Nigerian Labour Congress, Comrade Adam Aliu Oshimole. Oshibaba. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Adia State, the Right, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Single Senator Barinada Nkigi, Senator representing the River Southeast, Senatorial District, and members of National Assembly that are here. Former Senate President Senator John Azota Mbata, the Chairman of our Great Party, Ambassador Desmond Akawo, the gubernatorial candidate and my successor in waiting, and your deputy leaders of our state, former Minister of Justice and Attorney General, our dear friend. Former presidents of Nigerian Bar Association, OCJ Okecha and Okewala, here they are here. Members of State Executive Council, Chairman of the National Rulers Council, and members of their council, in particular the Eze or Hapara and Yenwe Yoruba who are here. I'll just present that a formal, let me specially greet your delegates, particularly. My lecturer in the University of Portacot, Professor Julius Ihovere, who is a member of the National Assembly. Our dear women, our dear youths, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I pray God for Arumeka, Arumeka, Ndiriyama, Ma. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, on behalf of the press, please can you allow people? On behalf of the government and people of the state, most sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, our members of your delegation, for accepting to come to identify with us today to commission the eighth flyover, which is called the Rubber Prick of Flyover. In spite of a short notice, you were in London when I spoke to you, and you said, Look, you will attend. And I want to sincerely, on behalf of the people and this uh, government, thank you both sincerely. We cannot thank you enough. I know how busy it has been. You came back from your rally yesterday, and by 10, 11 p.m., you were with us. We must sincerely thank you and welcome you to River State. <laughs> yes, it may interest you to note that just like the MD of the Rosemary has said, that this is the ninth, the eighth flyover and the ninth one will be commissioned tomorrow by Peter Obi. This flyovers, as of last year, June, July, we flagged off the Mbolo or what we call flyover, and the same period we, flag, we flagged off this particular flyover. So within a year, these two flyovers have been completed by Julius Beda. And I want to say authoritatively, the MD is here. We are not owing a dime as far as the flyover is concerned. We have finished paying to Julius Beda. I know what we wanted to start this flyover. Of course, you know human beings, nobody will want to make sacrifice. We pleaded with our people. 
Yes, for a short time, there will be some discomfort. For a short time, you will, of course, have to make sacrifices for this to come up. And I thank my people that they gave the Osbega the support. And today, those of them who own property here will now know that if they want to sell their property, they know what the value is now. They know what the value is. I'm not saying you should go and sell their property. But if you will sell, it won't have been the same price before now. And today, those of you who own stores here, you now know, you know, know also the value. So before you get anything better, before development, there must be some discomfort. And we are, thank God, we are through with that discomfort. So I congratulate the entire people who live here and who carry out economic activities in this area for your patience. And today, we are celebrating that this road has finally been completed at a record time. We have said before, we will not abandon any project we have started. We will not abandon. I've told you as well that this is my community. I've told them to go and complete all other roads that have not been awarded. We are awarded immediately before I leave office. <laughs> I told people, like I told Adam Shomini last night, that this is my community. If I don't do it then I don't know who will do it. I don't want to wait for my successor, because he too has a community. So let me finish my own community. When he comes, let him finish his own uh, community. If everybody comes and work like that, the entire state will be developed. Let me use the opportunity, Your Excellency, to say this today. Party is like a conveyor belt. Party is a vehicle to take you to the destination. When you get to the destination, you come down from that uh, vehicle and focus on governance. Governance does not know about party. Governance does not know about ethnicity. Governance does not know about religion. Governance is for everybody, whether those who supported you or those who did not uh, support you. That is what governance is all about. So many people have been saying, why am I inviting other people to come and commission projects and I'm not inviting those who are supposed, according to them, that I'm my party. As a first of all, there's no law that said I must only invite my party members to commission my projects. What's important is when you also invite other parties, they come and see really what they are hearing, whether it is uh, correct. I'm sure today our brother Adam Lushimele, when he goes back, he will say, look, all those things I've been hearing, I have gone, I have seen and it is correct, and it is correct. And so people should not say, in fact, tomorrow P2B is coming, it's not in my party. On Monday, Kwa Kwa is coming, it's not in my party. If anybody wants to die, you die. As he de ben dam, he de si with us, as he de si with us, he go de ben ben Your Excellency, you know, in this part of the world, I don't know the part where you come from, but in this part of the world, when they sweet us, they pay them. When as they pay them, 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 they sweet us. He they sweet us, as he they sweet us, he go they pay them, as he they pay them, he go they sweet us, as he they sweet us, he go they pay them. Yes, so we can pepper them. 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 We can pepper them.
Your Excellency, what you require in this country today is about United Nigeria. It's how all of us can see ourselves as one. It's how all of us can see ourselves as our brothers' uh, keepers. We don't need to see ourselves that you are from this place, you are from that side. We need a Nigeria that all of us can be proud of, that I will know that truly and Lord is a class citizen. The same right you have is the same right I have. The same opportunities you have will be the same opportunities I will uh, have. No need of saying that if I'm not for this place, people will not vote for you. No, we will not want that. We want a Nigeria that everybody can say, indeed, this is the leader we have. Indeed, this is the Nigeria we are looking for. Indeed, the Nigeria we are looking for has come to stay. And so for us, all we are looking for is how Nigeria will progress. How people will have food on their tables. It's not about ethnicity. It's not about the religion. It's not about party. It's about how Nigeria will progress. That is where we stand. And like I said, politics, politics now is a matter of uh, interest. You must tell me what is the interest of the people of River State. You must tell me what is the interest of my community. If my, if my, if my state would not benefit, I would not join you. I will not join anybody who does not want my state to benefit. I will not support anybody who does not like my state. Because for us here, if you hate us, we hate you. If you like us, we like you. If you do for me, I do for you. If you fall for me, I fall for you. Agreement is agreement, yo, Jai. Agreement is agreement, yo, Jai. We got something before now. You can't begin to do nonsense. Agreement is agreement, yo. So, what is important about leadership is integrity. When you have lost integrity, there's nothing you can offer again. And that is the problem we're having in this country. We are politicians. We stand up and make a statement. And then people are watching you to fulfill that statement you have made, the promise you have made. And then when you don't, Nigerians will now say, that is how politicians behave. I don't agree to that. Individuals can behave that way. I will not behave that way. If I say something today, I will make sure I do it. If there's any reason why I will not do it, I have to come back to you and let you know this is the reason. And that is what they call integrity. If you want to lead the people, you must lead by example. So people should stop thinking that blackmailing people will help anybody. It will not help anybody. Rather, it will damage their case the more. Nobody can intimidate us. Nobody can tell us what we'll do. Nobody can tell me who is my friend. I will choose my friend. Nobody can choose my friends for me. I saw it's opportunity like I did last time to apologize to you. You know, I came to Edo State to make sure your candidate didn't win the election. And I was virtually in charge every day coming out on television to take you on. And I say you will not win and that you didn't win. Mora, Mora, nobody gets it Mora like we do. Mora, Mora, nobody gets it Mora like we do. Well, that assignment has been done, but we now know who is who. I want to tell my people I sincerely apologize to you. I sincerely apologize. This is a national television. And you know, each time you learn, people will praise you when you do for them. The day you say, no, you are wrong, they begin to say all sorts of uh, things. I'm sure those of them in my party 
before. They cannot say anything without mentioning Wiki. But now because I said, let the writing be done. Let agreement be agreement. Let Ian endeavor. So because I have said that, I have not become a nobody, I have not become an enemy. These are people who are praising me morning, night, any day. But because we said, look, we had an agreement, do this, do that. And some people believe that they will not. And we said it must be done. We stand for equity, fairness, and uh, justice. That's what we stand for. And that's what the G5 will continue to preach. We have said we are not against the calculation, but the calculation must be based on equity, fairness, and uh, justice. So I want to still apologize for all the things I said that time. But you too, you prepared me here. During 2019 election, you sent in all the soldiers in this world. But the people stood firm and resisted it. So you, you did me one, me, I did you one. So. So we forgive ourselves <laughs> because 2019 you came here. I was watching you at the Lekaya Stadium when you when you came back from Bayasa and you lost the Supreme Court. I saw the face all of you that uh, national television. So I didn't know if you had another alternative to make sure you moved every soldier in this country. So when we succeeded, I said, "Okay, me I will go for return leg." So. It was that return leg I came to Edo, and, and I made sure that uh, me I succeeded, but you did not uh, succeed. So, so now we are friends. So let by let by become the bygone. So you did me, I retaliated. But even though in the Bible they say when when somebody does you bad, don't retaliate. Politically, when anybody does it back, retaliate. Retaliate. Because if you don't retaliate, you don't know whether you survive the next one. You know, Abu will say that when a, when a madman flogs you, don't run. Flog the madman back. So the madman will know how painful uh, it is. But if the madman flogs you around, the madman will be chasing you. But if you stop and flog the madman, then, ah, this is very painful. Though. Then the madman will start uh, running. That is what is expected. Politics is not religion at all. When we go and worship, we worship. But when we're in the arena, you do me, I will uh, do you back. That's how it's supposed to be. So we are not saying that. You see, if you come to politics, you see, politics is different as pastor. When you go to church, you preach as a pastor, you do according to the word of God and the Bible. But when you come to politics, it's not everything you follow like that. Because before you know it, they will have taken you off. If not, that will affirm. Your party needed this state badly. The badly. And thank God, your president has given us the best, as the best infrastructure state. So I don't know again what people who can pay in our state again. Because I'm carrying the result everywhere I'm going to. I say, I say, see, this result was given to me by President Muhammad Buhari, who is the father of your party. So people should surrender. There's the no need of campaigning. Because the result has been announced by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. So, I thank you for coming. I can see what is uh, going on here. And people like you who have worked in your state, that's the people I invite to come and commission projects that will touch on the lives of the people. It is very, very important. And I know you, you are not somebody who would like to flatter anybody you shoot to this, you shoot straight. That's why when you are shooting straight as chairman of the party, some people are not happy. They have to gang up for you to leave. This is the politics you have to get about it. <laughs> so you can see the reality. You, you may think you may think you want to straighten things. Some people call you back, my friend, you are certainly too much bent. I know Nigerians, 
they don't like anything that's too straight. They find a way to circumvent it to make sure the man who wants to do the right thing is taken out of that uh, place. But God's time is the best, and I believe that was God's uh, time. As as a Catholic, you know it. If God does not uh, sanction it, it will not uh, happen. Even though we were happy that you are going because you are too strong. Anybody who, who watches you talk, sometimes uh, the, the opposition does not know what to say again. So the day you are removed, we we'll say, God, we we'll thank you that this strong woman has gone. He has given us a lot of uh, heat. And so you can see how comfortable now we are. If you are in Nazareth, chairman, uh, the kind of things you will say will be a, will be a problem for us. So I want you this opportunity to call you to talk to your people. You are from the South South. You are a friend to River State. During the period of Dr. Peter Dudley, you are very close to him. So I'm merely continuing the relationship you had with Dr. Peter Dudley, who is our father and who is our leader in this state. So I hereby invite you to talk to our people and then proceed to commission this project. Thank you and God bless you.